you don't know Paso, but if you keep watching, you will know Paso because our experts know Paso and they will pass their knowledge on to you. We have three of the finest wine experts from Paso Robles here, and they are going to tell us what this wine is without knowing a single thing about it. Let's meet those, let's meet those panelists, shall we? To my left, in the delightful princess cut top, is Zara Landrum, the wine director from Centrally Grown in Cambria. How are you doing today, Princess? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Your carriage is parked outside, as we saw earlier. Oh, that's right. It's only here till midnight. So. Favoritism already. Then it turns into a, a wine vine, doesn't it? <laughs> that's right. Exactly. That's right. Yeah. To my right is the uh, always attractive David Wilson, the nationally syndicated radio host from Grape Encounters Radio. How did you know that was a princess cut top? Because she's a princess. Why well, would she wear? Those, how do you know those things? She is a princess, and princesses wear nothing but princess yes. cut tops. Okay, right. Your top is more of a uh, queen cut top. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I would say more of a king cut top, but go ahead. <laughs> king Tut. <laughs> king Tut. Lived yes. in Arizona. Okay. <laughs> to David's right is the always vivacious Katie Gebauer, uh, the wine educator at Cass Winery. Katie, what type of top are you wearing? What cut? You know... I'm thinking Emerald? comfortable, casual, mm -hmm. and ready to drink wine. So Midwestern. Sure. Love well, why is comfortable and casual Midwestern? Why isn't comfortable and casual no Midwestern? Idea. All right. I'm Perfect. So Katie, lost on the okay. let's hand you the All wine. Right. You guys start pouring wine. I, I guess tell we the won't folks be seeing any more wine. Exactly what's going on here. So there our go, experts sir. are going to use their power Ooh. of deductions to determine exactly what this wine in front of them is wow. uh, by its varietal by its vintage, by its region, both macro region and specific ABA, by its price point, <laughs> and by the producer. They will be scoring points based on how close they get to that, and the person with the most points will be our winner today. So, that is an intensely dark Yes, I get a lot of yeah. mid Why are you throwing things out at us. We're supposed to figure this out on our You're own. right. I will no longer throw out I'm gonna so smoke. Wait, what qualities? Um magenta qualities. It's extracted. Uh I get you know, staining of the glass if you look at that, um, over the white the white paper we have here. Yeah, and some... and that to me kind of directs me in a certain way. Deep violet tones on this mm -hmm. one, I would yes. say. I mean, just very intense. Yes. Right. Heavily extraction. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of fruit on that nose right and there. And I also would get a lot of oak, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The oak. spices, I vanilla. I don't get a lot of oak. I'm sorry. No? What are you getting sorry, on, Zara? But huh? you were chewing on a branch earlier. Lots of fruit. I was, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was so a, a good game of fetch, though. Any spice there? <laughs> kind of peppery. Mm -hmm. More, more on the peppery. Mm -hmm. Do you get any like to tobacco or cigar box like, or smoke or maybe it's just because not I'm so much smoke, but here. I could get tobacco. The tobacco I could sure. get tobacco leaf. Yeah, like more like of a the sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but not but, a sweet wine. But right, sweet a little qualities. bit of a toast, but not a smoke. In terms of fruit, I get mm. an assortment: uh, red, blue, and black fruit. Mm. Uh, what is the blue fruit? Blueberry, blueberry for sure. Like, they're kind of purple though. Okay. Well, we right, can go okay. with purple fruit. That okay. So you meant hearts. black and purple. Sure. Fruit. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. No one, no one ever talks about purple. Yeah. It's true, and I think it leans more towards the darker end of that. Spectrum. I would agree. Yeah. More of that. And but fresh. This is not yeah. stewed. This is not preserved, dried. I get just fresh fruit. Absolutely. Um, as opposed to frozen fruit, or yeah, yeah, or fruit as flavors, opposed, stewed, or jam. artificial. Yeah. yeah. Katie, I think you're on it. Um, but I'm I'm just kind of throwing things out there right now. Um. There's an interesting, it's not overly tart, but there's definitely kind of an acid cradle to this wine mm -hmm. that, that no, maintains like, its like... structure to it. Yeah. So Katie, since you're clearly taking the lead here, would you like to uh, begin and sort of throw out some ideas about what you think <laughs> this is? Like, I know, I know. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll just throw it out there. Um, this one is difficult for me, but... Uh, I'm in a few different camps here. I'm on the Malbec camp. Um, I could be on the Mouved camp. I'm just gonna throw it out there. What it's if it a, was a cast Mouved? Well, that would be embarrassing. <laughs> so not if, not if you got it right. Well, I mean, it could be, but okay. I'm gonna say 
um, Malbec 2013 West Side Temples and Gap. Mm -hmm. Price point? Price point um, 38. Okay, and a producer? You know, I'm going to pass on that one. That's fine. Sometimes it's hard to think about. You know, it would it be is. a Malbec producer yeah, on I know, I know. the west side. Zara, how about you? What are your mm. thoughts on this one? Can I go last? Um, no, because I'm calling on you now. You got wow. this, Zara. You got this, Zara. I'm the toughest. You are a tough guy. That's but why you, you could be I'm nicer, the moderator. Chris, you could be nicer. I know, David. Thank okay. you. But I'm not. Thank you. Because you were ready. You Zara, I'm go? sorry. No, I, I, oh, okay. I, I just can't believe you did that. Zara, we're going to require an answer. I'm going to say Petit Verdell. Okay. Mm. Um, there are some sense floral that, qualities yeah. to this. I'm going to say um, vintage 2012. Um, I'm going to say West Side. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Uh, price point um, $32. And I'm with Katie. I don't know the producer. All right. Fair enough. That's all right. Mr. Wilson, let me be the Dennis the Menace and ask you what you think this wine is. I think it's a red wine. Okay. Yeah. You're getting warmer. I'm so not with the ladies this time. Okay. Which is my life story. Um, <laughs> I, um, I am really going to say that this is a Zen. Okay. Yeah. How about that? It's an interesting guess. And, I'm, I, I, and it is a Zin. It is a West Side Zin. It is also a 2012 Zin. And the producer on this mm. wine is <clears throat> a mystery to me. Okay. How about a price point? Price point on this wine is um, $34. Hmm. So we've got one wine, three experts, three completely different varietals. We're going to find out if one of you is correct in just a second. So some interesting choices, three different <laughs> varietal selections for this one. Let's find out what the answer is. Uh -oh. Hands off, David. And what we've got is the Robert Hall 2013 Cavern nice. Select Mall Bag. Oh, Whoa. nice. Whoa. Whoa. Yay. Katie, <laughs> I cannot believe I slipped her that answer, and then I oh. completely screwed myself. You know, sometimes it's hard to be the impresario behind the scenes. Uh, I was talk trying to, to throw her off. Talk to Phil awesome. Spector about that one. Um, so, Zara, unfortunately... I was in the in the realm. You've got you you I, were you you least... just missed the vintage, so you got one point. I got the vintage. David, you got the vintage. Just missed the vintage. You no, said, I got the vintage. No, you said 2012. <laughs> this is a 13. Oh. Uh, and you did say 34 dollars. This is a 36 dollar. Got that wine. right. So you get two points. I did say West for that. Side. So second place, an excellent job. Oh, this yeah. is East Side. I should point out that this is mm. East Side. Oh, uh, oh, I did. No, I said East Side, didn't I? No, you said West Side. Oh, I think I, I meant Paper East, but I'm sure I you can't did. Spell. But, That's yeah, the left problem. and right is yeah. hard. Okay. But the big winner this time was Miss Gebauer over yeah. here. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. I am so glad she's four points be able to keep for nailing the, the mall back. Okay. Uh, three points for nailing the vintage yeah. 2013. That's awesome. And you said 38. This is 36. So you're right in the range. Let's get her up on our shoulders, Nine everybody. Points. Up on our shoulders. Sweet. Exactly. Good job. Yeah. Katie wins. Yay. Katie wins and all is right with the world. So if you'd like to buy a bottle of the Robert Hall 2013 Cavern Select Malbec for Commercial yourself, time. you can visit PasosBestWines.com. Thank you, everybody. And we will see you next time right here on You Don't Know Paso.